So the big question in spinal cord injury has been how to promote repair and functional recovery. And uh, it's well known that it's really the environment of the damaged spinal cord that prevents axons from regrowing and reforming functional connections. So this uh, injured tissue is known as the glial scar and it's a, a barrier to successful recovery. And what we've been doing over the last 10 to 15 years is characterizing some of the cells that form the glial scar and, and their properties. Uh, what are their uh, specific uh, molecules that form this uh, barrier to recovery and repair? Uh, what we've found is that, firstly, there is a, a complex signaling pathway that causes the glial cells to proliferate and accumulate at the injury site. What we've studied is, first of all, a uh, molecular signaling pathway known as the Wnt pathway, which uh, causes glial cells to proliferate and accumulate at the glial scar. And we've shown using animals defective, uh, in transgenic animals defective in these pathways, that if you can prevent the scar from forming, you can actually get some axon growth uh, through the damaged tissue. Uh, that's the uh, first thing I'm going to be discussing today. Uh, a second major issue is what is the nature of the molecules in the scar that form this barrier? And there are a great many different molecules and families of molecules associated with this damaged tissue.